I will be doing this uh, poppy flower today and I will show you step by step how to do that one I will not do any sort of sketching uh, so you will see how this can be done without the sketching let's start So I will be drawing in this 300 GSM paper. So let's try with yellow ochre. And uh, I'll just put a mark on there first. And a uh, little bit cadmium, cadmium red I have added with that yellow ochre. And then try to put another one. What I'm doing now, I am mentally picturing this image, how this can be done. Because this brush marks may be looking like random, but it's not. I'm just thinking how we can do that one. I'm using mop brush, natural hairbrush size 8 let's do a bit more shadowy part I am doing this one in Alla Prima so I will not be doing any initial wash or background wash everything I'll be doing at one go let's Put some dark on there for the shadowy part. I will be as I'm using wet on wet, so I'll be looking for how this pigment take places and how they behave and react. This is the start of the vase just put a little bit bluish and on the other side put a bit of warm color I'm doing that one is very impressionistic style so not much detail in it or any realistic in it see the wet on wet how the pigments are flowing, mixing up with one another and creating the soft edge. This is very important. Let me put another flower down at the bottom just for some visual interest. I'll, I'll put one side of a bit of shadowy. Let's put some more wet into wet in the middle. Uh, this is ultramarine blue. You can see I have left some of the places as white. So that it attracts your interest in there. make this part a little bit of darker the whole idea is to playing light and shadow game so that it doesn't look flat so in some places you will be putting some dark color and in some places you will be putting some transparent color lighter and also you can see that I'm putting some blue, like cool color comparing, comparing to that warm red. Let's tackle this on the top part. So this warm and cool mix up 
creating the contrast which will make this face or piece visually interesting. Let's make some more color in there. Tackle this part. Every flower, so I'm mixing them with uh, warm and cool so that it doesn't get bored. In the middle, just make a bit of darker. You can see in the, on the top part of those flowers, petals, my colors are warm red where in the bottom parts is a bit of cool red. I used alizarin crimson mixed up with cadmium red light. So that created a bit of cool red. Let's draw some stem. This is the brush which is synthetic hairbrush. Uh, and it is from Escoda, Escoda Perla, and size 12. This brush has got very pointed pointed top. Let's make some random mark. Um, leaves or maybe flower buds not necessarily they will need to mean something you just leave some mark in there I will introduce some bit of green for the leaves can see how quickly without the sketching if you have clear picture in your mind or if you have some rough sketch somewhere you can quickly draw them mixing up some blue with these greens see everywhere I'm trying to maintain some warm and cool warm and cool so this is what I'm doing here trying to tackle every single flowers petals while they're wet Some of the petals I just left as it is. I'm not trying to fixing them, even though they don't look like it. But it's okay. That's the beauty of it. Some, let's make some buds facing upwards. Some random marks there. trying to make this painting not very neat and clean there's a beauty of watercolor you need to create some spontaneity so that it doesn't look like very neat and tidy so let's make some splatter 
so that it creates some random marks. I think it's almost end. I'm not making fixing anything. I'm not fiddling around. Just a little bit some dark shadows here and there so that it can create some three D effect on it. some dry brush, brush mark. It's almost done, I think, yep. Or some dry brush mark there for shadow. It has to be in some stage where it doesn't look like unfinished or overworked. I'm not defining every single petals, just randomly select one or two and putting a little bit of details in there so that him and I can read them and can imagine this kind of detail in every other flowers. some shadows here so that it creates some 3d effects as you can see I'm trying to use the side of the brush to use to use dry brush mark effect Let's make this one a little bit popping up and same sort of effect. Let's use some white gel pen this is some gouache white to define some highlight So these white marks, they will fade away when it dries up. And that's pretty much all. So what I will do, I will just use some, a little bit of pen, pen drawing in there to define some little bit of detail work. Okay. 
some highlights, small little tiny details. So because of those small little pinwork of details, uh, it will make more sense. But before that, you need to make sure your whole composition is correct and the big shapes are correctly done. Not too much, just a little bit. And that's it. So that's the painting. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. I will see you in the next painting. Thank you. Bye.